taking it back to what you are already doing with, mm -hmm. the, with the yep. Robinhood business services. Yep. So would you say the, the value that you provide your clients is more price-based, convenience-based, value-based from a, you're providing better equipment, or is it all of those kind of equally? I mean, right. is that, right. is that right. a fair question to ask? Yeah, yep. yep. that's, that? that's a good question. And, and the answer is in most instances, I can present myself as the low cost provider. Okay. Now, anybody who knows business knows that that's not okay. a defensible position um, in and of itself. Um, it's certainly advantageous, but it, it, it's not defensible in and of itself. So, so the thing is, though, that I can often provide a lower cost solution to them with a higher level of service. Um, you know, most of my clients are within driving distance of me now. So if I, you know, they call me up, they got a problem. If I can't get it fixed over the phone, maybe I get somebody from these uh, companies that I, I basically broker processing. Um, so, uh, you know, I can get a technician at one of the processing or equipment providers to help out. If we really can't solve it. I can, I can be out there usually within a couple hours and it's amazing, you know, what eyes on can, can do, right? Uh, and ultimately when it, it's usually not the equipment itself, but something in their shop that's gone wrong, yeah. um, being on site usually helps. So, so the real, most of the services in this industry right now are sold over the phone. Somebody calls them up, says, hey, you need this. They say, okay, or they go to the internet and they buy it and then they get the equipment or something in the mail and they plug it in and then they've got some 800 number that they call and there's a phone tree and and you know i the merchant i'm not really technically smart about this stuff and they tell me to check my switch and i don't know what the heck they're talking about <laughs> so um so it really helps to have when 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 my merchants call I answer the phone. Yeah, hands-on help. And and I know because I've been there at their business, I know what their business looks like. So it, it gives me a little bit of advantage. I'd be like, hey, um, Kelly, you've got a switch underneath your counter behind your cash drawer. So pull that cash drawer out and just unplug that switch and plug it back in. It's a little black box, right? Mm -hmm. Or it's white, right? Whatever color, because I've been there, I know what that looks like. Absolutely. Um, so it really helps both from the phone support, but then um, then I can be there. So, um, you know, in that way, and that's why my business, this business has been really successful over the last five or six years, because that's really a magical combination. Absolutely. Um, where I can actually give them a better solution at a lower cost. So lowering costs, increasing quality, and hands-on support. That sounds yeah. like a pretty good deal. Yeah, yeah, it's it kind of it's it's really a no-brainer for most people. Uh, now, some people out there, uh, there's some people like me out there, and some merchants are like, no, I've, I'm good. I got I got my person there. They take great care of me. Fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. that, that that's that's the best I can hope for you. Absolutely. Right. Um, but in uh, most instances, there is some sort of opportunity um, on the table. It, you know, I can usually at least squeeze the cost a little bit, but there's almost always a, an opportunity on this level of service.